can you actually make money with a detailing business? Is this a viable option to start? Let's go ahead and talk about it. But first, let's get to the first location. Okay, here's the thing. When you tell people you're gonna start a detailing business, they're automatically gonna think of this like, oh, you're gonna wash cars for a living? Can you really make money doing that? You're gonna clean someone's car? And to be honest, it's not their fault or their responsibility to understand, not so much support, but to understand what detailing or even car washing is, right? The, the basic thought of a car wash detailing business is you take it to a $5 car wash, you wash it there, in the story. So it's not their fault for them not understanding what you're trying to do, right? Like in your head, you have your vision, you have your thought process, you have your goals, your vision of what it's going to be, right? Whether it be in one year, three years, or five years, and you can't blame it on them. So it's okay, it's like it's understandable for them to be like, you're gonna wash cars, like that's really what you wanna do, right? So it's okay. They're not trying to hate on you, they're not trying to put you down. They don't want to see you fail, but they're just not completely understanding of what you're trying to do. So it's your responsibility to show them what you're going to do. But it's okay if they say, what? You're going to do what? Are you sure about this? No school? You don't want to go do something else? So it's okay for those to be like, huh? Hmm? I don't, what are you trying to do? What? What is this? Look, detailing isn't as popular as far as the industry like HVAC, like mechanics, like carpentry, like painting like roofing like construction it's not as popular doesn't have much of a broad appeal as it would with those right so detailing it's like what yeah are, are people really gonna pay that much how much are you gonna charge do people really want their car uh, uh like you know cleaned or polished or so it's okay it's uh, understand that it's just not the same thing as when you hear these other service industries is that good or bad uh, i don't really see it. it's neutral for me i don't i don't really see it one way or the other All right, so this is on a 2004 Lexus something, 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 and it's literally just a basic interior cleaning, meaning a thorough vacuuming, a wipe down of the interior, uh, conditioning the seats, and cleaning the door jams, the glass and windows. Like that's literally, I'm just, it's just a very basic cleaning. But we charged, the, the price range was between 100 to $150, and it took us about 50 minutes to complete this. So this is also another shift that we're doing. Uh, for our, We're gonna change the name from basic interior cleaning to something else. Um, but it will be a price range between like 80 to 120, 100 to 140, just a vacuum and wipe down the interior. That's all, there's no stain removal, shampoo, deep, there's none of that. It's just vacuuming and wiping down the interior. And this one wasn't even that bad. A lot of customers, as a recent, like they just want a thorough vacuuming cleaning and we're charging between like 100, 120, 140 because it's still very thorough cleaning. Although I'll be at basic, it's still a thorough vacuuming and a wipe down. So we are changing the prices again from the basic, we're gonna change the name and up the pricing for the service. And that brings me to my next point. You'll make as much or as little money as you want based on your level of commitment and determination. Meaning if you are half-assing everything, if you are just lacking on everything, if you're not really giving it your all on every aspect of the business, whether it's detailing or marketing or or whatever it is, if you're just half-assing it, you're kind of in, kind of not, some days you're motivated, some days you're not, some days you do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, then you're just all over the place with your energy and commitment, you're not gonna make as much money or have as much of an impact or make progress in your business compared to someone that's every day like, I'm going at it 100%, I know exactly what I'm gonna do, even if I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my best to figure out what I'm gonna have to do in order to do it to the best of my ability. Having those two different types of, of people are gonna yield much different results. So it is completely dependent on how much effort you put into it. Don't worry about, well, that guy's only making $25,000 a year. That person barely makes $15,000 a year. So I guess no one really makes money with this. No, it's, compl it's completely dependent on the level of effort, action, and commitment, and determination, and discipline that you have towards your own goals, your career, your future, your business, and what you want to accomplish. So it's dependent on you not these external factors of, well, this person only makes this much, that person has that, that person been in business for this long, they only have that, nope, nope, it's, it's none of that. It's, you can be as successful, big or small, whatever that means to you, based on how much effort you put into it yourself. So if you wanna make 60,000 a year, you can do that. If you only wanna make $25,000 a year, 
you can do that. If you want to hit $120,000 a year, you can do that. It's just based on your level of effort. And look, don't get me wrong. You can put as much effort as you want and you could still not be successful. I'm not saying just because you give it your all, you're going to get all the all the uh, the results that you want that you're hoping for so it's not all just about the effort but putting more effort effort or the most effort that you can will definitely help you get better results than if you weren't but you could still 100% not succeed but that's the main point are you willing to put that gamble on yourself to say hey can I start the business can I put all my effort and can I make this successful because it's a gamble for everyone All right, so now we're at the second location, yet at another apartment here. No parking garage, just parking lot. Doesn't make much of a difference. You want to move the vehicle to the back side or to the empty spot of the parking lot where there's less traffic and more parking spots. There will be some apartments that are just so packed that there's literally almost no spots available. Those suck. You just got to make do with what you got because we have been in those situations. But here, obviously, we put the canopy up because the sun wants to cook us like little cookies and we don't want that to happen. So we put the canopy up. It's a full interior cleaning for 220 and then any cleaning for 50. This is the second vehicle. We have one more at 3 o'clock or like 3.30 ish, which is still like 10 minutes from here. The first customer was 10 minutes away. Second customer, 10 minutes. All the customers are within 10 minutes of each other. So here today we have around three. Now the question is like, how many cars can you do in one day? And honestly, when you first start, it might be one. You get a little better, you can probably knock out two. But if you keep on growing your business, if you keep on trying to expand, if you get like more, like one, like another helper, you can go from one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five per day. Of course, there's a lot more that goes involved with that in terms of efficiency, in terms of um, being able to price that, in terms of being able to market and increase the demand for your services to that extent. But it's definitely not out of the norm. It's not crazy to do two, three, four vehicles a day. Once you get to that point, when you first start, you're still just trying to get one vehicle. Then you go to one to two vehicles. Then you go two to three vehicles. Like right now, we're around two vehicles and we're trying to get to three vehicles per day. So if you're asking, well, how many cars can I do? Look, it really depends. You might be able to only do one. You might be able to do two. You might be able to do four. Right now, we're gonna do three. The other day, we did two. Some days it might be one. It's just dependent on your marketing, the demand, how good you are, how ambitious you are, your drive for it. It's really very dependent. And if you see me do three and you're like, well, if he's only doing three, how can I do three? Do go for four. Like don't be better than what we're doing. Be better than what you see here on my channel. Like you can do more. If, you, if, if other detailers aren't doing what you think you'd want to do, well, don't worry about that. Do what you want to do. That's the main part. Like, if you're committed, if you can do this, how many cars you can knock out in a day, up to you. And remember, it's not just about how many cars. It's about how much you're making. So you could do three cars at 500 bucks per day or do one car at $1,500 in one day. It's just dependent. There's no right or wrong answer of like, oh, I have to do high-end paint correction to be successful. I have to do wash. Any business model will work if you know how to do it and know how to work that business model. If you just want to do car washes, you can make 100,000. If you just want to do paint correction, you can make 100,000. If you just want to do full interior cleanings, you can make 100,000. It's just dependent on your level of commitment and determination to execute a plan that would actually make it work. All right, so we're wrapping up the interior now. Now we're gonna go over to the engine cleaning. And that's something I want to point of what I just said of like if you can make either 1500 with one vehicle or 1500 with three vehicles it doesn't really matter now you might say oh yes high ticket items are the way to go like that's that's what you should really do honestly it's not just think about it like fast food restaurants just think about one not a chain restaurant not a franchise just one restaurant that sells a hamburger for like ten dollars right how many hamburgers do they have to sell in order to be profitable right so at any point in time 
hopefully my face isn't too like sweaty obviously i'm sweating a lot i didn't wipe my face down so please excuse if i look extra ugly right now but um with restaurants with anything with any business all right it's always going to be a volume game i don't care if you're the most expensive of expensive generally speaking you're always gonna want more to make more money okay even if you are if you're if you're doing paint correction coatings for fifteen hundred two thousand dollars you still want more one is better than two three is better than two four is better than three five is better than four right so you always want more so i'm tired of like everyone's always like well i focus on quality not volume i'm, I'm quality over quantity it's like what is the difference between the two if you you're if you're doing this as a business and you have a set um expense that you have to meet in order to reach overhead or to to um pay for overhead meaning like maybe your your your, your wages an employee um a, a shop uh, uh your car note your you by default have to hit a certain number of, of of revenue which by default means you have to hit a certain number of vehicles that you have to do in order to stay in business so stop thinking about this like oh i'm quality over quantity like i'd rather do one car and do the best like me i'd like to do three cars at a thousand bucks uh, a car three a day like wh why is there this like why is there like this black and white like well you can't do multiple vehicles and hold quality it's like who are putting these rules like who makes up these just fake boundaries that you have to follow so regardless like if you want to if you wanted again if you want to do car washes volume if you're gonna do high-end tickets it's still gonna be volume granted the total number of volume it's gonna be different like you can do you know five cars a week with high ticket items and still make decent money and with car washing just strictly that you might have to do a lot, a lot higher volume but it can still equal out the same thing like there is like what i personally have like a car wash model where i'm just washing 10 15 cars a day no am i holding anything against that would i to any degree say don't go that route no it's totally up to you you have your own goals your vision your whatever you want to do so if that's the route you want to take so be it if you want to do only interiors so be it if you only want to do paint correction coatings so be it but don't think there's one that works better than other because there's it's not it's just how you set up your business and how you go about executing that plan So we are here on the third location. This one wasn't much at all. It was just a basic interior cleaning and a basic wash. We finished it like maybe under an hour. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. This one started like around 3.30ish, I wanna say. And we were out by like 4.30ish, so not a big deal. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Hopefully you took some key insights out of this. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns. You can send me a DM on Instagram. You can send me an email. You can leave a comment down below. It might take me a while to get back to you, but I will try my best to answer your question at some point in time. So go ahead and download the guide if you'd like in the description box. Like this video, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.